Welcome back. We are here looking at the foreign exchange market, and this is going to be my daily forecast for Wednesday, May 26, 2021. If you like to support our channel, you're welcome to hit the subscribe button down in the corner, hit the like button and the bell button to see our newest videos. And let's start by looking at the Great British Pound and the US dollar. And as you can see, we're down a little bit today. We are still testing down 200, uh, not the 20 exponential moving average. And we are having troubles so basically breaking above uh, this uh, resistance line, which is the previous highs over here. But it looks like it's just a matter of time before we build enough momentum in order to break above the 1424. If we break to the downside, we have the 20, 40, and the 50, and the 100 moving average here, which all have offered uh, support in the past. If you look at technical indicators, we can see the MACD is about to cross the signal line, indicating bearish momentum. RSI is bearish, CCI is becoming bearish, stochastic is bearish. So momentum is kind of at this moment to the downside. And it may well be that we'll just trend sideways. Uh, but if we break below the 20, then we'll probably test these pre these moving averages again. Break above this resistance line, well, then we are going significantly higher. So let's look at the US dollar, Japanese yen, and then nothing has really happened here we did rally up towards the 20, 50 moving average and then gave most of those gains back now we're st still trading underneath the 40 uh, 20 and the 50 moving average so if we look at technical indicators we can see that the macd is bearish C rsi is bearish cci is bearish and stochastic is bearish momentum is definitely to the downside at this point as we have been falling for the last uh, well give or take two weeks so if we do break below this resistance line here, we'll most likely go and test the 100 moving average down here at 108.007. You can see that we ran into major resistance at the middle of the Bollinger Band, and now we're approaching the bottom of the Bollinger Band. If we were to rally above the 50 moving average, then we could go and test the 109.72. So let's look at the euro US dollar. And as you can see, we have tried to break above this resistance line and then gave most of those gains back. But at this current stage, it looks like momentum is to the upside. MACD is bullish, the RSI is bullish, CCI is bullish, and so is the stochastic. We do we are fairly stretched here. We're quite close to the top of the bullish band. But if we manage to get a clear a green candlestick above this resistance line that will may most likely go towards the 1245 breakdowns from here will most likely find major support at the 20 exponential and this uh, previous uh, resistance line so let's look at the aussie dollar us dollar and well nothing really is happening here so there are a few resistant areas uh, we have to break through in order to go to 0 0.80 um, at this current stage we have not even tested it and um, underneath we have the 50 and the 150 moving average that will offer massive amount of support we are well trading right underneath the middle of the bullish band technical indicators are very uh, mixed macd is bearish rsi is bearish cci is flat and the stochastic is bullish so we have been just going back and forward within this range for well basically a month now and we basically need to break above uh, these resistance line or break below these support lines in order to, to go higher or go lower. So let's look at the US dollar, Canadian dollar. Nothing really has happened here either. We are still just uh, hanging around at the same place. We have this uh, support line here that we are just, uh, well, basically, build, I don't know, building up the momentum to go higher or lower. And there's nothing really happening in this, in this currency pair at this point. But this is also how this has been behaving in the past you can see when it was at the top it was just going back and forward until it basically broke to the downside at this point you may, may see this uh, just a build up in order to go to the upside again we have been in this range for uh, several months now and it looked like at one point that we were going to break uh, below but at this point kind of expected this to rally up towards the 20 and the 40 or the 50 before going lower that's uh, but that could also take several more days or probably weeks and considering that's basically what happened last time if we look at technical indicators we can see the macd is still in negative territory but it's bullish rsi is bullish cci is um, cci is uh, is bearish and uh, stochastic is bearish at 
this current stage. So, hope you find this helpful. You're welcome to support your channel by subscribing. Hit the like button and the bell button to see our new videos. And um, good luck and thank you very much.